What's happening, everybody? I want y'all first and foremost to go support my boy Eli. He has his two year anniversary for the kids entertainment Saturday, May 6, 12 to 4 p.m. Great dude. Go support the cause. Bring your kids. If you don't have kids, let people know that do have kids. Go check it out, man. Have a good time on a great Saturday and support a great dude and a business. All right. What is going on, beautiful people? And welcome to the only place in the universe that supplies you fuel for your dreams, goals, and entrepreneur ambitions for the free reality TV. And today, people, on the world famous segment, Bookworm, we are going to be reviewing the ABCs of real estate investing. Now, you know, I'm always talking about multiple streams of income, secure the bag, easy money. And this is falls right along, you know, those lines. And what this book primarily focuses on is rental units. Ken, the author of the book, he owns a huge property management business. And his goal for the book is to give you some easy steps, some easy things to follow, as it's just a broad perspective on some ways to own rental property, buy it, sell it, manage it, all of those things. And he gives some nice tips along the way on how he did it and some of the systems and methods that he uses. Man, shout out to my man D'Angelo, last bookworm segments winner. I think this is the second or third time. Y'all, y'all need to get quicker on these comments. So the answer to the question of what are CJ's goals from last bookworm segments question was to put his name on as many things as he can to create a long lasting legacy of ownership. All right, people. So if you don't know the rules by now, the first person to answer this question in the comment section below, I will send them this book. Once again, first person to answer will get this book for free. The question is, doorknobs can disinfect themselves and kill bacteria. What is the most antimicrobial of them all? So of course, there is tons and tons of information in this book about rental properties, how to buy them, sell them, and all those things. But I just want to focus on three that I think you guys can really take away from now and get a, your hands and your, your mind really wrapped around what this book is talking about with these three tips that he highlights and that I'm going to share with you. One is demand, two is value, and three is management. So first, we're going to start with demand. And when I say demand, it is in regards to the rental market. And of course, all this is highlighted in the book, but he just discusses, do you really know your market? Is a rental investment the right thing for you in your current market? And he breaks down different things you should look for to determine if that is a good market to invest in in regards to rentals. One of them is supply and demand. Many of you guys know what supply and demand is, um, but in regards to, to rentals, you wanna make sure that the demand is higher than the supply, meaning more people want to rent a property than there are rental units. And that's one nice indicator that allows you to know, hey, I'm in a great market, a good area to really look and find an investment property to rent out. Also, you want to look at jobs and the diversity of jobs in your area, making sure that it's not one huge job that controls the area. And if that job gets pulled out, people are losing their jobs because if the people lose their jobs, where are they going to live? They're going to move back home or move wherever. And then there goes your rental market. So he gives a lot of nice tips beyond what I just shared with you in regards to demand. So next we're talking about value. So once you get your investment, we're not just holding on the investment. We're going to add value to it, right? We want to add more dollars to that thing, right? So he gives some great examples of how you can do that. One, we can look at upping the rent. We can look at repairs, repairing the unit or the, the home to make it garner a, a higher rent. 
We can add premiums, like premium locations in the apartment, you're overlooking a lake or a beach or what have you, or anything like that, making it more energy efficient. Um, having parks on the residency for your kid, for the family's kids and things of that nature. So there's just a plethora of things for you to think about when you get your investment property to add value to it to secure more bags, you know? Cause we're not just getting this to just be still, we wanna add to it. So he goes in depth about that as well and some of the things you should think of and look at as you have your rental property and as you continue to mature in this, this new field, this new stream of income. I want you guys to think getting the property is half the battle. We, we wanna add that value to that thing, man. That's, that's the next step, man. We gotta elevate, always elevate. So finally, um, management, very key. Some people are gonna go a different route and choose to manage it for themselves. I, on the other hand, personally, like a strong management team to take care of my apartment so I don't have to take care of it. And the reason being is when you own a rental unit, you're gonna have tenants, right? Tenants are gonna either have some issues that need to be fixed, they're, you gotta collect the rent, you know, whatever. I don't wanna deal with those phone calls, those day-to-day -day activities. That's why property management or management is so key if you're looking for just a passive stream of income. And he goes in and elaborates on some great things that you should look for and that your management group or your property manager should you know, bring to the table. Is your property manager advertising accurately? Is, are there accounting systems on point? Is more than one person in the accounting you know, department? How do they deal with the tenants? How do they collect the rent? Just things of that nature we wanna make sure that we have in place when we're hiring these property managers property managers because they're managing our gold mine man you want someone an uh, expert in that field taking care of that thing coming to you guys you know you guys are sitting down once a month going over everything okay this is what the expenses this is what we're able to bring in hey Deontay he's here are some other options that we can approach in once again adding value to the property that's what we want to kind of think of as a property manager he's just not collecting the check or she is not just collecting the check for you. They're supposed to be adding value. They're supposed to be helping you, educating you as well on different options that you don't already consider. Once again, this is only for the people who are looking to have more so of a passive relationship with their um, you know, investment properties, which I really, I don't have a problem with paying 10% to you know someone that's going to take that day-to-day -day headache imagine waking up in the middle of the night someone's calling you the tenant hey my stove won't work you got to get up middle of the night you walk over there and you see plug it in you know who wants to deal with little headaches like that man so that's why property management is such a big thing um and that's why it's so important to have a good property manager in your team and that's why it's so important to have a good property manager on your team that can handle all these things and you can just deal with the, the broad structure of continuing to add these investments to your portfolio. So finally, I'm gonna give my grade for the book and I give it a good read. And the only reason I give it just a good read is because I feel the book is only for people who are looking for different streams of income, who are interested in different avenues they can invest their money and grow their money. I don't think the casual reader would really look to this book to, you know, get any entertainment or anything like that, and that's why I give it a grade. But for the people who are interested in real estate, who are interested in increasing their streams of income, this is a great read for them. It's a very easy read. No, it does not cover every single thing. It's not going to be step-by-step, -step, instructional. If you follow this, you'll be a millionaire. No, it's none of that. Um, he just has some great tips. He has some great systems that he uses that will trigger your brain to get you to thinking in the way you need to think if this is a investment vehicle you're gonna be using. And that's what it really provides. It's very simple. It's not too crazy you can really understand it even if you're not necessarily in that field now and that's why i believe it's such a good read for those those people in that mindset so as always thank you all for the love thank you all for the participation man once again first one to comment 
gets that book. We don't play around. Ask D'Angelo. D'Angelo know I'm building his library. So either he gonna continue to build his library or y'all gonna tighten up too. <laughs> but drop your comments in the comments section below. Let me know once you guys get the book, even if you don't win the, the, the sweepstakes. Um, let me know how you guys felt about it. Amongst other things, just drop it in the comment section below. Really appreciate the support. Really appreciate the love. Continue to tune in. Once again, that subscribe button is important for you to hit. Hit that thing just like that, you know. Um, as you guys already know, have a great day. Have a great week. Have a great month. Always continue to dominate and tune in to Reality TV every Sunday where you always need to